Good morning, Maryland. Meteorologist Stevie Daniels here. We're starting off with your full forecast. Dealing with some of those leftover light showers, pretty much all the bulk of this moisture is out of our hair. It's sliding eastward, but right now, uh, Queen Anne's County, Caroline County, even portions of Talbot still dealing with some of those light showers. But that is expected to diminish over the next hour or so. We do have this warm front that's going to continue to lift to the north. This is going to be the reason why we're going to be milder out there today, climbing back into the mid 60s, but then temps come crashing down later this week because we have this very strong cold front that will move through later this evening, not only bringing our temperatures down, but it increases our winds and it also increases our rain chances. Even a few rumbles of thunder could be heard as well. We are starting off very similar to yesterday morning, mostly in the 50s, 53 degrees up in Parkton in the Hereford zone, and that is the same case over in Cockeysville. Heading into the afternoon, right around lunchtime, hitting a temperature of 61 degrees, and as the kids head home from school, don't be surprised if you uh, see a few light rain showers here and there. Uh, the kids might just want to bring the umbrella with them to school, but we will be rising into the low to mid 60s today, so enjoy it because our temps just come tumbling down over the next couple of days, down into the 50s, even into the upper 40s. So this evening, behind this cold front, as it skirts off to the east, winds are really going to pick up. Most areas could experience wind gusts out of the northwest, anywhere from 30 to 35 miles per hour. So the bulk of the area will be mostly dry throughout the daytime hours, with a few light sprinkles here and there. The main event holds off until right around 9 to 10 o'clock. This is when that cold front is going to slide through. So this is the time frame where we could encounter some moderate downpours and even hear a few rumbles of thunder. That's going to persist throughout midnight. It slides eastward and we are looking a little bit drier on the back side of it, but feeling that brisk wind, it's going to feel blustery as we finish off the work week with a few off and on rain showers heading into your Thursday afternoon. And then Friday is the day where we could experience a few snow flurries mixing in with that rain across our northwesternmost suburbs. And really the better shot for accumulating snow still looks to be the case out towards Garrett County, anywhere from six to t uh, 12 inches, not out of the question. So we do have those winter storm watches uh, that go underway starting tomorrow evening through Saturday night for Garrett County and locations farther southwest. But we are just going to be dealing with a few flakes here and there. Little to no accumulation is expected. Uh, but taking a look at your seven day forecast, you see our numbers just come tumbling down Thursday and Friday. Friday, we struggle to hit the lower 50s. We're going to be dealing with winds anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour over the next couple of days. Drier this weekend.